My kids are currently having a discussion at the table about how old I am because I was born in 1985. So yeah. I opened up the chickens run, but they saw Baron turned around and went back in. It's okay, girls. He's going to leave you alone. Breakfast. Bear, leave him. Just one this morning. Since we had that predator attack the other day where we lost two birds, even though we have been making sure they're all securely up in the evenings, um, they have not been laying well. That freaked them out. And our egg count has gone down to where we were getting almost a dozen a day and now we're just getting a few throughout the day. So hopefully they'll start feeling safe again soon and we'll start getting eggs again. We had a cold snap that came and did the rest of our plants in that were still hanging on uncovered through the winter, all of our brassicas and stuff. It got down into the mid-teens. It was just too much for them. The garlic looks good though. So all this is getting cleaned out. Not today. Today is cold. I'm going inside today. The pigs aren't ready to get up yet. They're over there sleeping in their house. Usually they're shouting at me when I'm out here in the afternoons, but it's early. Come on, bear. These dudes went outside to play. Is it cold out there? I thought it, yeah, I thought it was pretty cold. So now they're having hot chocolate. Huh? You wanna go with me? I'm not going back outside, it's too cold. Hey y'all, look. See all those little sprouts coming up? These are actually my uh, Wild Boar Farms Painted Ladies variegated tomato sprouts. That's awesome, huh? They're coming up. There are a few varieties here that I started in these four by four containers and there's probably like 40 seeds planted in each one. And they're all sprouting, which is really exciting. Now I had these other trays down below um, and where it wasn't as warm, they weren't on heat mats. So I've been rearranging everything. I have a lot of plants growing on this shelf and they're all just mostly under the soil, but the ones that are sprouting, they're still good. But as soon as they get a little bit bigger, I'm having to separate them out and I don't have enough space on this shelf for all of these plants once they're separated out. Now, for the sake of understanding, um, these need to be closer to these plants. This is not close enough for grow lights, and I know that. I've got these stacked up, but I'm moving a lot of stuff around right now. I just wanna make sure somebody sees that, that they don't model theirs after the way mine looks right now, because this is not this is not right. You want it you know, an inch or two above your plants, or else they'll get leggy. However, I'm in the process of moving some things around. Now, yesterday I began separating all of my dwarf tomato starts because they're starting to get some real leaves. Now, I'm gonna take a few of these out to the greenhouse and set them out there because I wanna see how they do. Oh look, there's another little baby. Black Crim, happy birthday, Black Crim. Let's take these little guys out to the greenhouse. I'm experimenting with their little plant lives, but gotta do what you gotta do. I think that these plants will do fine in the greenhouse, even if it gets coolish in there because they're already, you know, sprouted and established. But I don't wanna move the entire tray out here, just on the off chance that the temperature does drop. On sunny days, it's downright hot out here. I've had to come out and vent the greenhouse when it's sunny because even if it's 40 degrees outside, it can get up to 100 degrees in here. But on an overcast day like today, it's a little over 50 with the heater running. So I'm just going to set these up right here and check on them over the next couple of days and see how they're doing. I'm going to have to move plants out here pretty soon. I mean, probably within the next week or else I'm just not gonna have enough space on my shelf. Maybe a week and a half or two, I might could put it off that long, but I just don't think that there's any way once all those seeds, I put a lot of seeds in those cups, once those all start coming up and needing to be separated out, I'm just not gonna have enough space. I haven't even started half the peppers yet either. Still no germination on the peppers yet, it's only been a few days, so that's still completely normal. Um, 
I actually did not expect these tomato seeds to pop up so quickly, but it is really warm down here. I have um, some more grow lights coming in the mail. They should be here sometime within the next week. Uh, I think that we may rig up some more shop lights in the meantime because I'm running out of light space. I currently have these two and I've got a little square grow light that we need to hook up but my, my microgreens are getting to the point that they're about ready to have some light on them. I'm the queen of getting in over my head, like starting too much and then having to rush to catch up. Just me. I think we've told you guys that Maya's been taking Con to obedience training and it's really cute. You wanna show us Connie's tricks? Yeah, which trick, which trick, which trick are we gonna do? Sit. Good sit. Good sit. Okay, down. down. Nope. Bow. <laughs> now eventually that'll turn into you. We'll just say take a bow and he'll just put his foot. He'll do it, yeah, front without front. having to. This is his biggest issue, because I think it's age. Down. Down. Sit down. Stay. Stay. Alright, let's go. Good boy. And Kong's treat of choice is the most nastiest fake hot dogs <laughs> you can find. He will he don't he doesn't work for anything else. And we tried <laughs> lots of different kinds. So he took him to training the first time and of course he's on like a grain free diet, you know, like good food for large breed puppies and I buy these like really high quality treats and he wants nothing to do with it. So they try like everybody else's treats in the class. And he doesn't want anything to do with those either. And the trainer was like, just get some hot dogs and cut them up. And he just, he'll do anything for, for nasty hot dogs. My kids saw them in the fridge and they were like, oh, we have hot dogs? I'm like, no, <laughs> you do not have hot dogs. One thing that he was actually, he picked up, like I didn't have to teach him anything, is that he doesn't pull in the leash. Like yeah. when we walk, you know, that you can just see it with the size he is. Like, this is how he walks. I walked all over the gym every time I go. You know, if he's not a real big puller, which is good, because with his size, he could pull some people around. Yeah. And so his like me. skills was just natural to him. We actually hold Con's bowl because Danes are uh, prone to their stomachs flipping. And so you want to feed them elevated so they're not eating, you know, bent all the way down to the ground. And he is like a really bad gulper, like he just will inhale his food. And so we hold his bowl so we can take it away from him for a second and make him chew and swallow. Han is our reckless grief puppy. I shared about that whenever we got him. It's been now like six months ago that we got him. He's only eight, eight and a half months old. He's still a baby. He's gonna get a lot bigger. He's so different than what I'm used to. Now, Con is Maya's dog, and Bear is my dog. You've probably figured that out because he's always with me in vlogs. Bear is my little buddy, my baby dog. Personal space, bro. I used to have a German Shepherd several years ago who was my favorite dog, and I actually had a Shepherd whenever I was a young girl. I used to volunteer at the animal shelter and fell in love with this dog. And so it's kind of been like a lifelong thing for me. Now had all my babies and they were little and I said the whole time that I had them I would get another shepherd whenever my youngest child was three. Now I did end up fudging on that a little bit because I came across Bear and completely fell in love with him. He is a mix, he's a mix between a German Shepherd and a King Shepherd. He came into my life and it was just, just the right time. Ben was three months shy of three years old whenever we found Bear. And he has been my little shadow, uh, my garden buddy, and I totally adore him. He is definitely my dog. He loves Maya and he loves other people, but just wherever I am, he's underneath my feet all the time. And he's so smart and so sweet. You wanna look? <laughs> is that right? Are you a sweet boy? Are you a sweet boy? Now he sheds like it's his job. You would think that based on the amount of hair that we have to vacuum up on the regular that you would think he would be bald or something. That's actually why there's a shop back in our living room. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. Another question we've been asked uh, a lot in vlogging is people will see 
the dog crates in our living room and they're like, why do you keep your dogs in cages? Um, both of our dogs are puppies. Bear is about 16 months old and like I said, Khan is eight months old. So they haven't fully learned how to behave in the house yet. And so they're crate trained. Basically means that that is their designated space. Whenever they need to lay down and they need to chill out, they go in their crate. So they are inside dogs. They do spend some time outside, but they sleep inside every night and they hang out inside. The older Bear gets, the more he's out. Like he doesn't eat the trash or, you know, chew up the kids' stuff. For the most part, at this point, he is pretty trustworthy. In the past, when I've crate trained dogs, by the time they're two, my old shepherd that I had uh, so many years ago, by the time he was two, he was able to not be in the crate at all anymore. The other benefit to me for crate training is that we have uh, so many kids and it kind of gives the dog a place that they can kind of just get away. That's their space. And the kids know if the dog went in their crate, leave them alone. Like that's them saying, I don't want to play with you right now. And our dogs do. Like we leave their crates open a lot and throughout the day, they'll go lay down in their crate. We did have livestock guardian dogs. Now, these two dogs are the only dogs that we have. We have Con and Bear. They live inside the house. They're family dogs, companion dogs. They're pets. And they are learning how to be around the animals. And they bark if they hear anything outside, but, but they don't ha they're not working dogs. These are family dogs. Um, we've had Anatolian Shepherds and Great Pyrenees in the past. We have had a very, very difficult time in keeping those dogs from wandering. We have done every measure that we know how to and and you know electric fences and all of the different things that you can do trying to keep dogs here the thing is we only have four acres and what they were doing is they were taking off and there's a herd of cattle across the street there's horses and they were going and hanging out with these other herds of animals and guarding them they are instinctually meant to be guardians and we have this really small space here they just weren't staying here so we decided after losing um, a couple to the road we live on a country road people just fly down this road and we decided that it was not in the best interest of those dogs trying to have them on a farm like ours so at this point we will not be getting any more guardian dogs if we were to ever move and have a larger space where we had like pastures far away from our house we might consider it but even then I think I might look into donkeys I love having dogs I love taking care of them I love I mean like companion dogs it is my heart to always have a dog I love that but I just don't know that livestock guardian dogs are for us and maybe maybe that's just because we've had bad experiences maybe at some point in the future I will get over that but as for right now I cannot see us having another livestock guardian dog well, I think that's gonna be it for us today. It is another dreary, overcast, cool day. We have been pretty much on a standstill in the greenhouse because it's just rained for the last couple of days. But hopefully it'll warm up. We can get to work on that here pretty soon. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Um, I bless you. Until next time. <laughs>